Thank you Red Hat for sponsoring this video. Have you ever wondered how large companies handle their cloud operations or how businesses scale their online services to meet demand? In this video, we're going to dive into a very important concept in the IT world known as cloud automation. This is the secret behind the streamlined, efficient cloud infrastructures you see powering today's digital world. So whether you're a job seeker or someone already working in tech, keep watching because this is a valuable skill set that could potentially make a big difference in your career. Let's get into it. Cloud automation, to put it simply, is the use of technologies and tools to automate the management of workloads in the cloud. This process involves automating the setup, scaling, and maintenance of cloud resources. Now, why is it so important? Imagine a world without cloud automation. Every time you need more cloud servers to handle the increased customer demand, you'll have to manually log in and configure each one. Not to mention, if there's ever a spike in traffic, scaling your systems fast enough would be nearly impossible. Cloud automation can address these issues and so much more. Let's say I'm setting up an e-commerce store where I'm planning on selling shoes. If if I consider implementing cloud automation from day one, here are some of the benefits it can bring the business. Firstly, there will be a reduction in the time and effort spent on routine cloud management tasks. Rather than getting bogged down on day-to-day -day operations, it would allow more time to focus on strategic goals. In my case, growing the shoe business and improving customer satisfaction. Another benefit is error minimization. Automation will help me reduce the likelihood of human error. For example, automated systems can allow me to more easily manage inventory levels, process orders, and display accurate information. This means there will be fewer mistakes in orders with up-to-date inventory and pricing for customers. The third advantage is enhanced scalability and adaptability. With cloud automation, the infrastructure on my shoe store can effortlessly scale up and down to match demand. Whether it's a sudden spike in traffic during a sale or a steady increase over time, the system can adapt seamlessly. This will result in a smooth shopping experience for my customers regardless of how many people are on the website at the same time. Okay, but cloud automation isn't just helpful for e-commerce store owners. It's a powerful tool for any organization that uses the cloud. Companies are moving beyond the traditional ways of handling their processes. They're stepping into a future where more and more of their cloud operations are getting streamlined. This shift allows companies to respond quickly to market changes and their customer needs. The global cloud automation market is about to experience substantial growth over the next few years. Organizations need to optimize their operations in order to stay ahead. And so cloud automation will be a way to help them save money whilst increasing efficiency. And that's exactly why I would highly recommend learning about cloud automation. Whether you're a developer, IT manager, or someone running your own company, chances are you'll start to see the impact of automation in your work environment. By learning about the different automation tools out there, you'll be able to upskill in your tech career or drive your business forward. Now, let me introduce you to a major player in the cloud automation space, the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. This is an enterprise solution that transforms how cloud operations are managed at scale. With Ansible, IT managers can set automation guidelines whilst giving developers the freedom to innovate. It pretty much streamlines the process of sharing, reviewing, and controlling automation practices within an organization without limiting flexibility. Ansible's capabilities go beyond just deployment and retirement of cloud resources. It integrates with Azure Resource Manager, Terraform, and AWS CloudFormation, enhancing your existing cloud operations. I actually stopped by the Red Hat kiosk at AWS event a few weeks ago where I listened to a presentation about the Ansible platform and it was really cool to see some of the use cases in action. You can use the Ansible automation platform across a wide range of cloud automation scenarios and transform complex tasks into streamlined processes. Some examples include multi-cloud management. So whether you're working with AWS, Azure or Google Cloud, Ansible provides a unified way to automate tasks across these environments. Another one is CI-CD pipeline automation where Ansible integrates CI-CD pipelines help helping automate the deployment of applications and infrastructure updates. It also automates security policies and compliance checks, ensuring that your cloud environments adhere to the necessary regulations and best practices. Okay, now you might be asking, how do I get started with Ansible and cloud automation? Well, Red Hat's free interactive labs are a great starting point. These hands-on demos are perfect for beginners and will give you a feel of Ansible's power in managing hybrid cloud environments. You can see here that there's labs like getting started with Ansible Navigator, getting started with automation automation controller, and writing your very first playbook. These tutorials only take about 30 to 60 minutes to complete. 
And here's an example of what one of the labs look like. On the left, you have your editor or environment, and on the right, you have step-by-step -step instructions. These labs are a fun and interactive way to get familiar with cloud automation. And they're also really helpful for seeing how Ansible can be applied to real-world scenarios. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, I've added a link in the description below to the labs. They're completely free and an excellent way to start experimenting. For those who prefer reading, you can also check out this ebook for an easy to understand guide on cloud automation. All right, so this brings us to the end of the video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful and don't forget to check out the cloud automation resources in the description below.